Hi guys, it's DJ here from Corsair Sea. I'm very excited to show you my new boat. It's my first cat and it's also my first boat which I didn't DIY. In this video I will tell you about the spec of this boat. I will show you some preparations for my first run. And then of course we are going to run it. So let's go. What we have here is a Psycho Cat V1 version 1. This is actually a pretty old hull already. It could be about 20 years old. It's made by Dr. Psycho. Unfortunately, he quit making boats, but he made some very nice racing hulls, very fast hulls as well. For example, this boat is also used for saw running, straightaway speed. The guy behind Dr. Psycho is uh, called Ralf Schnipkowite. He is a German guy and uh, he made this hull. This is a glass fiber hull and uh, yeah, it's laid up very nicely. It looks, it feels pretty strong. And when this boat was made, they were still running with C-cell batteries. So not like uh, the LiPos we have now. And therefore this boat has pretty wide sponsons. So with the hatch opened, you can see a big space in the sponsons where you could put your C-cell uh, battery packs. But nowadays, of course, we run with LiPos and uh, enough space to fit. This boat has a length of the hull of 61 centimeters. And the width, I think, is 23 centimeters. Yes, it is built as a single setup. This is a Rocket 3674 motor with 1800 kV. The speed controller is a Flycolor 150 amp. It's one of my budget favorites. I use this in some of my other boats as well. It has a standard digital servo. And then on the back, we have a very nice custom rudder setup made by the previous owner. It has a dual water pickup rudder. So one of the lines goes through the cooling jacket on the motor and the other line is going to the water cooled speed controller. And the exit, the hole over here. So I think one is shooting up and the other one is shooting backwards. The flex shaft is a four millimeter uh, diameter flex shaft and it's using uh, a collet on the motor. So yeah, pretty straightforward setup. And I'm really curious how this boat will perform. I understood from the previous owner that this boat can go more than 100 kilometers an hour pretty easily. So yeah, we will find out soon. Uh, for the first try, I installed a 43 millimeter 1.4 pitch prop. This is a TFL prop, sharpened and balanced by me. So if you look at the overall shape of this boat, it almost looks a bit uh, comical, like a comic style, because it's very wide and it has a, a huge cockpit and it's also pretty high. So yeah, pretty distinctive shape. You don't see it very often. Apparently, because it's very wide, this hole corners very well. And if we look at the bottom, you can see some nice steps. I already checked the running surface. It's pretty good. It could use some blueprinting, especially on the last part over here. It's tapered up a little bit. Uh, so I will blueprint it later on. Over here, you can see some old water pickups. Uh, I will fill these up because from inside the hull, these are already closed. And uh, yeah, I just want to make it flat and efficient. This hatch is made from uh, yeah, glass weave. It's pretty flexible. I measured the thickness and the hatch has a thickness of just 0.5 millimeters. And the boat itself has a thickness between 0.75 and 1 millimeter. At least for the deck, because that's the only part I can measure. But overall it looks and feels very strong, especially this tunnel part. It also has a nice carbon motor bracket. Oh, and the speed controller is also equipped with a capacitor pack. So that's a nice feature. I never used one. If we look more closely to the setup of the strut and the rudder, you will notice that the prop and the strut extends quite far behind the transom. And then it has a center mounted rudder, which is behind the prop. So yeah, altogether, this is a pretty long rudder arm and it has some braces to stiffen it up. And yeah, it feels nice and strong. 
I put a plastic breakaway bolt here myself, so it has a kick up rudder. In case you hit something, this plastic bolt will break and the rudder will kick up. My plan is to run it on 6S, the same as the previous owner did. 6S with a 1800 kV motor I think is uh, the sweet spot. You have enough RPM for some crazy speeds, but it's also not that high that you will cook up your motor. So yeah, let's see. The most ideal is to run two 3S LiPos and connect them in series, but I don't really have high capacity 3S LiPos. Therefore I decided to use two 6S packs, two 6S 3000 milliamp packs, and I will connect them in parallel. So they fit perfectly over here, other one over here. I will connect them with uh, hook and loop tape and put some more foam in and also on top to secure them. And if it turns out to be too heavy like this, then I have to buy some lighter packs. Okay, put the boat on the scale, including the two 6S LiPos and it weighs 2964 grams. So let's say three kilos. Ready to run. Mm, yeah, I think it's on the heavy side for such a small hull. But then again, it's also a very wide hull. So let's just try and let's see how it will go. All right, I got the boat set up, ready to run. I just have to put the receiver with some hook and loop tape over here. But uh, the two 6S batteries are connected in parallel. So either this one or this one are fed to the ESC. I made some wiring and uh, basically I can still connect the anti-spark XC90s. And uh, yeah, works great. <laughs> Steering. Throttle. Seems to have good power. So let's bring it to the water and try it out. All right, we are at the pond for the first run of the Psycho Cat. It's a different pond, pretty nice one. I zeroed the GPS and we are going to run with a 443, 443 two blade prop on 6S, 1800 kV, so let's see how it will go. Wow, nice. Let's trim it a little bit. For sure. I just opened the hatch. I forgot the temp meter, but motor feels okay, not hot. Let's check the speed. 91. Wow, nice. 
but it's not yet stable. I think I should lift the prop a little bit. So let's try that. I lifted the prop a few millimeters. Zero to GPS. Just put it in, tape it up and try again. <laughs> That was a nice one. Let's try again. Oh! Let's open it up and check the speed. Eighty-eight. All right, not bad. Alright, back in the workshop with the Psycho Cat. Sorry that I didn't really talk during the run. I was just too focused on the boat and it was also the first time that I ran in this pond. So yeah, a lot of new things. But uh, overall, I think uh, I need to do some tuning still. Only the last few sprints, it showed its real potential. It was uh, tracking straight with a nice rooster tail and uh, going stable. I also have to trim the steering still a little bit. but. I couldn't really figure it out at the pond, so I will take a close look at it in the workshop. Speed-wise, 91 km an hour and the second part 88. It's not too bad. I think it can definitely go faster, but I only made some short sprints. So on a bigger pond, when I really open it up, I think it should be pretty fast. Overall, I'm really happy with this boat. Very interesting to drive a catamaran, but I still need to do some tuning to make it run real good. But that will be for another video. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!